Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back again with another Paladins video. We're going to be playing with Grok today and his new buffed Totemic Ward. And they've done exactly what I wanted them to do that I mentioned in a recent video I did covering this in about March. In the sense that they've kept it the same and just added something extra on. It still gives you the third totem, bit of extra healing, but now it'll also give you 25% extra on the radius of them. Which on paper might not sound like that big of a deal, which is why I think it slipped under the radar for the most part. But it does actually make a bit of a big difference. I'll show it off in a minute. The build I'm using is going to be the same. Just want to show you directly... Real quick the actual difference between the two of them so this is without totemic wards you know what it would usually be and now they buffed it and given you 25 percent extra if we cast it here on the planet in the exact same spot you can see the difference when you're casting three of them is going to be pretty noticeable especially with the speed buff on it and the fact that they heal it makes it a little bit easier especially to throw it around like a corner or you know hide it a little bit better so for game one siege waters gate shout out to our we've also got a talus a charlotte and a bk and then for their side as in who i've played with a ton of times before a barrack a Lith, a Cassie and Ilium will go for Totemic Ward and then the Q spam setup as you can see here. Radius is pretty damn hefty. Going for Kronos to start, of course. We want to max it out as soon as possible. You don't really need Nimble because you've got the speed buff maxed in the setup. Inner Strength, Sand Trap, Persistence, Accelerant. All right, let's just go straight into it. We've got Billow, Forge, Fire, Cast, Cord, Exaction, and then whatever the other person had that I didn't read out in time. Let's get rid of this Sin, maybe. BK already died there somehow. We should be able to shred through him there, right? Because he doesn't have his Q app. Did also rebind my Q to be on my mouse so I don't have to use the Q all the time. I'm going to use a mouse button if I fancy it. Miss the bounce. This is actually a pretty good map for Grok because we can get it through through the bottom if people are playing under us we'll drop another queue here we should be able to have one pretty much constantly out as long as they don't destroy it they don't have crazy area damage so it should actually be sort of free to keep it down another one just there really big radius on it again pop the f maybe i should bind the f to another mouse button to be honest because i think that'd probably be quite useful hits here on the zin he's gonna billow but frame rate on this map is particularly rough i mentioned it before 100 percent like in videos it's just for some reason this one really has really inconsistent frame rate compared to the other maps and it never really got fixed even after they sort of like remade parts of it arizona is a bot by the way he's still actually doing a pretty good job Arizona's bot for some reason is one of the better ones I guess it's because he's newer i don't know i'll pop the f retreat a bit i'm sort of screwed here and drop the q down we can sort of door the zin because of the setup but miss the bounce i'm dead if i remember correctly i'm pretty sure i actually said in a video that they should give you a card that increases the radius on it and they just built it into the talent so i'm not going to assume somebody watches my videos over evil mojo but it's a pretty nice coincidence to be honest because now grok is actually playable with the totem setup i reckon don't feel like playable is really the right word but you get what i mean as i was just going to run in here and die i think without him we're screwed if he doesn't come back i'll cut the crap out of this match just so we can jump into a game too pretty quick we'll just throw our totems down here it's way easier to do on the mouse button so i can move left at the same time pk is going for the ult we'll go walk just to get the q off cooldown in time he hit the zin counter i think zin's still dead is on his back so let's pop the ult and celebrate and rush in this is a terrible idea although never mind two of them are gone and there we go there is the push failed well there is on's back so we're definitely still in this one now that i've rebound my mouse i said this in the other video i actually like make the wrong call out because it's not a q and i'm using my mouse button for some reason my brain sinks it to not being a q anymore and I guess I should just call it my totem. Yeah, so the Q, but Q is like the default key, so I just did that forever. I feel like we're doing pretty good so far, though, until we get Kronos maxed. It is a little bit janky because we have a bit more downtime than I'd like. We could still go for Nimble, but I think I'm going to go for Haven and then Veteran instead because I don't think the speed's really worth it because we already get so much from the totem. That's Cassie with the ult. It's going to drop our totems down here in a bunch of different spots. You do want to spread them out a little bit so they're not just all loaded on the same cooldown because that can be kind of rough. I didn't land the right click there, but that's fine. Heals on the Azan. Let's drop them down here. Give these guys a little bit of a spot to heal up a bit. Drop the Q. It'd be cool if you could reduce the cooldown of it with the right click. That would be a really nice way to have sort of hybrid Grok be more of a thing. Instead of it being on the F, which I think is also fine. I feel like it being on the right click or the left click even would be a really cool way for it to work so that you can be sort of convinced to play as a hybrid more than just getting it on the F. But then again, sort of trading off your escape for your cooldown is another interesting thing that it's already got. Words are hard when there's this much stuff going on. Zin is on like no health. Are you kidding me? I tried to drop the Q there. It's a little bit too early with it though. Finish off Kronos and then then, yeah, definitely going to go for damage reduction. Morale boost could also be good, because I feel like joining the ultimate faster here could be really, really useful. I'm not sure. I feel like morale boost Haven Veteran is a super safe pick to go for, though. Go for the ult, maybe we can get on there in time. Never mind, Azam was just a little bit too slow. Probably should have rushed it a little bit harder after we killed the Zin and the Cassie. Drop that there. There's a right click, drop another totem, another totem. There's the Ghost Walk so we can fully heal up and melt through the barrack. There we go. Drop another one up there. Just going to keep dropping them here so that they can get heals the second they take damage. That's kind of the way you want to do it. You don't want to wait until people are already there to drop your totems because people are going to get cleared, especially when you're on full Kronos. You might as well just keep throwing them out because 
liquid on them is really that big. You can pretty much always have like a tonum or two down, as you can sort of see here, as I'm trying to show off a bit, but it's just so much crap going on here on the Zin that didn't bounce. I thought it would hit off the turret. He is gone. There's the F. I played that so stupid. I think I'm dead. Gonna get punished for it, right? Triple dropped the totem. Never mind. We're fine. There's a right click. I don't have the ghost walk now. I literally one second off. They're all dead. Taz has got to be covered. Totem, another one, and one further up there. Frame rate dip in the middle of the map is horrific. In the spawns, it seems to be fine, but whenever we run towards the middle, it's not that it's like a low frame rate, it's just that it jumps from like 200, 300 to like sub 100 sometimes. It's really, really rough. I don't know why it happens on this map only, and like one of the other new ones I think it happens with as well. It's scuffed. I feel like if I had 60 the entire time, it would be fine, or like 120 the entire time, but it's just that it jumps around so much is really why it's so rough. We'll go for the ult here and just see if we can get rid of these guys. Anybody going to push the Lilith, or am I just going to keep selling it here for free? I guess we'll do it. There we go. Props says a hand a little bit late there, but it works. Drop them over the top for the BK. Definitely wouldn't hate if they healed a little bit faster, or maybe increase healing over time after they're like initially deployed, similar to sort of how the things work, but maybe that would remove some of the uniqueness of the totem. I don't know. Really just throwing random ideas out there at this point. We'll just keep dropping the totems down. We've got the 2-2, two -two, so yeah, we're in for a match. Azan's back. This is definitely a game that... We're actually standing some sort of chance in. We go for Haven, right? Or Morale Boost? Which one? I feel like damage reduction is just so safe. We'll just go for that. Just realized that I've never looked behind on this side of the spawn. It's actually really, really pretty. There's actually like a whole ass, like, sort of waterfall scape. I don't know what the hell to call that, but we'll go for Veteran. I think I know what it looks like on the other side, but for some reason I've just never looked over there. I've looked on this side, but I didn't realize it was at the back as well. Tars going for the super aggro ult there to start. Barracks on the point will drop. Uh, totems down. Do we want to just drop all three straight away? Drop more totems. That's there. Lilith going for the ult. Hello, Zin. Just try and melt through him a bit. There's the ghost walk. Drop a totem again. He's going into the billow. Zahn's pushing up this way, but I'm sort of just dead, right? Even with the two times healing me there, we are a goner. Shaolin trying to make some play. Don't we really understand our tactics when it comes to pushing the point, but I'm going to go for the ult. Hopefully that'll give some space for the team. I'm getting pretty heavily hit here. We are still doing okay though. Drop the terms. You can probably hear me mouse spam whenever I try and do that because I rebound it, like I said. Get rid of the barrack turret. There we go. All right. Shaolin shredding and barrack died, so that was a waste of time. Drop a totem up there. We did actually recover it. I feel like going for our boost is going to be definitely the play here because that ultimate really does make a big difference on this sort of map. More totems. That's at the end on the left side. I'm out of range there anyway. That is the 3 2. Really didn't think we were going to get that. Didn't think we'd get back on it. I thought I was going to die in the ult. All right there. That was a bounce, which actually landed. Nice. Still out of range by just a little bit. We'll throw a totem up there for the Talus. We can kind of throw them around a little bit more liberally now that we've got the full Kronos and everything. Drop one over there forward a bit. Another one further back a tad the healing from just one of them really isn't that crazy but it's the speed and just in general having a little bit of a station for people to be at if they're not getting cauterized it does add up there's another one there's the ghost walk just so we can get back up to four sort of the way you want to use it with your totems already down it's on the back i don't know why i'm making this sort of like a guide but most of it's pretty self-explanatory after you played a handful of games as on literally just screwed me out of that kill he finished him so i'm not going to get mad about it not that i really would anyway but dropping more cues we are very very speedy here as a team just because of that speed buff we're giving everybody i'm sure it's helping them out quite a bit even though obviously it's not going to show in like the stats page or anything speed buffs always end up being pretty good we'll go for the ult the amount of shit going on here trying to keep the team alive heals are more important here than damage there we go there that was pretty solid throw the queues up i think it's going to be a 4-2 we're actually going to get this right i reckon cast is at the back fighting charlene but we're all here there we go victory what a way to end it we actually managed to get that push somehow grok ultimate really coming in clutch there i would say in that match morale boost was definitely the move going forward but 55 31 120 good heals there even though i wasn't doing crazy well to get damage as well is also solid really really good showcase i'd say for the new version of totemic ward shouts to arizona i don't know if i called him out already abika had a bit of a hard time Arizona pretty good though when he was there charlin really carried to be honest and tass also did a really good job there there lilith had a bit of a hard time cassie didn't do crazy good zin was really solid there even though his stat doesn't show it a crazy amount barrack really did work as well to be honest and the end also did okay i feel like a full end Cassie did a bit better there. They would have had that in the bag. Yeah, what else can I say? I'm not going to do a game two. I feel like that was a perfect showcase for it. Nothing else I can really add, to be honest, onto that match. I really like the new Totemic Ward. It's pretty much exactly what I wanted them to do, and they did it. So, yeah, Totemic Ward, three totems, extra healing, extra radius, exactly what I think it should be. It's now actually sort of worth grabbing over Spirits Domain or Maelstrom, depending on the situation. And with this build, you're getting them out a ton. Speed, I think, is really, really important to it. Feeling as good as it does. Grog's card selection is fine. I think it could just do with a bit of work not a crazy amount doesn't need to be like overtuned or anything although i feel like that sort of happened with totemic ward a little bit it's been like slowly getting buffed a tiny bit bit by bit to the point now where it's actually really really good thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed let me know what you want to see with the next i'd love to hear your guys's thoughts on the new totemic ward down in the comments it is a pretty minor change but after everything especially after the video i made recently i feel like i really could do with hearing from you guys on it and yeah i'll see you all really really soon i appreciate you staying all the way till the end and as always stay frosty